Hello, today I am going to show you how to design inverting amplifier into the multisim. For that, we need three components, namely op-amp, resistance and power supply. So let's first select a op-amp. Either you can select a 741 op-amp or op-07. I am going to select op-07 op-amp. For that, let me select here into group, uh, all group and then select OP07. So these are the OPAMP, OP07. Okay, and also I need to select a resistance. So here you can come into resistance and uh, basic and then after that resistance. So we can select let's say one kilo ohm resistance. Let's zoom in. Okay, so select one kilo ohm resistance here and uh, after that we need to make it into inverting mode so what we can do we can vertically invert it so flip it vertically and then we can connect to to this resistance and then this resistance to the output and now we need one more resistance at the input so we can copy it and then we can paste it to here right perfect okay so connect it now we need a power supply we need to connect a minus 5 volt at 4 and plus 5 volt at point number at pin number 7 and also we need to connect a ground at pin number 3 so let's take a power from here the power source and uh, we need ground so connect first ground here and also we need VCC. We need to connect VCC at uh, pin number 7 and also we need VEE. Right, so connect VEE at this pin. Right, so VEE minus 5 volt. We can place it here and VCC plus 5 volt. We can connect it here. Connect this ground pin number 3. Now we need to connect our input to uh, our input of the R2 resistance and then we can see output at pin number 6 of this op-amp. So from here let's take a function generator and connect this input here and connect this common to the ground. Right and then again take a oscilloscope from here. Right, now we need to see input in one channel and output in another channel. So connect this, uh, this pin here and this pin B at the output of op amp and then we need to ground these two pins together. Okay, so what we can do, we can copy it and then paste it here right connect it perfect now your design is complete now we can check it into simulation mode before that let me set here frequency and duty cycle and amplitude of wave so let's select first of all that uh, sinusoidal wave with the frequency 1 hertz duty cycle 50 percent it doesn't matter in sinusoidal of course it is always 50 percent and amplitude let's fix it to the one volt and offset is zero okay and now let's see run it okay so here now uh, time stamp is very low we need to increase our time base so time scale increase time scale to one second and channel a division five volt per division so we need to set it one volt per division okay channel 1 to 1 volt per division and channel b also 1 volt per division and here if you see uh, channel a and b is 180 degree inverted why because of that we have implemented here inverting amplifier and gain is 1 because of that here r1 is equal to the r2 that means as you know the formula of V out is equal to minus R2 minus uh, this resistance upon this resistance. Okay. 
and what you can do more to differentiate between input and output signal you can go into the properties and select net color let's select a green color okay and again simulate it here you can see green color is output and red color is a input to this open okay now suppose that if you want to change input to the another wave so let's make it a triangular wave and simulate it see here even if you want to change it to uh, a square wave you can change it to the square wave into the runtime see here how it is inverted now let me show you if uh, how to implement a non-inverting amplifier so non-inverting amplifier formula is uh, this resistance upon this resistance plus 1 into V in. So for that we need to set uh, uh, one input of R2 to the ground. So we can cut it and uh, paste it here. Right. And uh, we need to give input. Okay. Here. Okay, one thing I just missed. Sorry, I didn't connect uh, this common. Now, run it. See here, if you see, this green is output and uh, red is input. So, red is automatically um, is being superimposed here with the input. So, for differentiating input and output, uh, we can set the Y position. We can differ of channel B Y position little bit see here and channel a 500 uh, millivolt so if we set it to the one volt now you can see output is almost double to the input thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, subscribe this channel to get more video tutorials directly into your inbox